guys and welcome to another episode of the Artist Heart. This week we are in Loch Tay. Well, behind me is Loch Tay. And even further behind me you can see the beautiful fairy mountains. And I don't exaggerate, that's exactly what they are called. So we're filming again in location as we're touring around Scotland uh, for Series 3 of the Artist Heart. So I hope you enjoyed this show and I hope you enjoy the beautiful views that are right behind me. Stay tuned and I will see you at the end. Okay, so welcome to Loch Tay, which in the Scottish Gaelic is pronounced Loch Tatha. It is a freshwater loch in the central highlands of Scotland. It is long and narrow, about 14 and a half miles long and about one to one and a half miles wide. It's about 490 feet deep at its deepest point. The loch is particularly a popular spot for salmon fishing. In the Iron Age, some of the Celtic people in the area lived and dwelt in highly defensible artificial islands in the loch, and these were called Cranogs. They are thought to have originated before the year 2000 BC and provide a great and safe place to live. They continued to be built and used as dwellings and refuges well into the Middle Ages. Cranogs can be found all over and in places you might not expect. They can be found all over Scotland, Ireland and Wales, and they not only afford excellent protection from unruly neighbours, but also from the more dangerous wild animals that were once common in the British islands, such as wolves, bears, boars and lynxes. More than 20 Cranogs, most now submerged, have been identified in Loch T. An example has been reconstructed on the south side of the loch at the Scottish Cranog Centre. There's plenty to do at Loch Tay, but if the idea of skimming stones on a beautiful loch and viewing stunning mountain scenery isn't for you, then there's the beautiful, attractive village of Killen, just up the road, and also Finlarig Castle, which is a 17th century tower house built by Black Duncan Campbell. This part of the world is so special to me. As many people know who have followed my work for a long time, I absolutely adore and love the mountains. I love water, I love nature and blue sky. This part of Scotland has got it all and naturally it just felt like a coming home here for me. A painting that was inspired by this journey was uh, Heart of the Mountains, which is one of my uh, more popular paintings. And I want to show you the initial stages on how this painting uh, looked when we came up with the idea. So I hope you enjoy this travel back through time, and I'll catch you in a bit.
Taking a break from painting for a moment or two, I want to share with you some of the fun that we had. And you can see Katie and I here in front of the beautiful, stunning mountains on Loch Tay. Here I am enjoying the sun and watching the ducks and the world go by. It's such a special place and there's so much to do and see. And if you don't believe about skimming stones, well, I'm a master at it. So you can come and join me seeing me skim the stones across Loch Tay. What a beautiful and pleasant experience it was indeed. As you can see, the beautiful sunshine just glistening off the water here. It was such an incredible day. And now let's continue with our little painting, shall we? I want to perform for you now one of my brand new songs, and it's called The Memory Road.
So now you've seen how this painting originally started its life. I bet you're dying to see how the painting now looks. Well, let's take a look at it, shall we? As you can see here, Heart of the Mountains has completely changed and it looks absolutely stunning. It's one of my favorite and my signature paintings and it's been such a delight to put this one together. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode, getting to see the beautiful Ben Lowers in all its glory and the beautiful sunshine that we've been so privileged to have on Loch Tay and all the locations that we've gone to shoot on for this season of The Artist's Heart. I hope you enjoyed as well the beautiful, beautiful mountain landscape that I was able and blessed to paint and to share with you guys. And it's always such a privilege. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and until next time and next week, because I don't know what's going to happen next week. We don't know where we're going to be. It's some of a surprise even to us. So until next time and next week. Sweet. Take care and God bless.